Hey guys, today we're gonna make a mushroom brandy cream sauce pasta. This one is super easy and very little amount of ingredients. Let's get into prepping all those right now. So here's all the ingredients. I have one and a half pounds of mushrooms. Now this is like a special blend from Whole Foods that I got, it was $7. Uh, you don't need to use this, but you know, they are nice. It makes, it'll definitely make it a little bit more of a unique dish. Feel free to use baby bella or even white button mushrooms. I cut them to a quarter inch thick. Also gonna use one cup of brandy. This is a brandy mushroom cream sauce. This is an inexpensive brandy I'm using. It's about $18 for this bottle. We're gonna use one and a quarter cups of heavy cream one pound of spaghetti. Dechecco, my favorite brand, really the only brand I use, guys. Dechecco's good, and it's very, very uh, inexpensive for the quality it provides. We're gonna use three ounces of tomato paste. I have one medium onion that I diced, quarter cup of parsley I minced, and about a half a cup of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Yeah, we're actually gonna use Parmigiano-Reggiano today. We're not gonna use Pecorino. All right, guys, we are gonna use the big pan again. If you're using a 12-inch pan here, it's gonna take you forever. And I cut those mushrooms purposely a quarter inch thick, because if you cut them thinner, you'd have to probably do three of these worth. So it's, how much time do you have? That's, that's the question you gotta ask when you're making any of these recipes. We're gonna put this on about medium heat maybe a four out of 10. I have regular olive oil here, not extra virgin. And my pan is hot, so I heated it up for three minutes. Now it's hot. Now you can put the oil down. And we'll do the uh, exotic ones first. These are uh, trumpet. These tiny ones, I'm not breaking them up completely. Everything else, just try to spread them out. We got a huge pan here, we got a 14 inch pan, but we don't wanna be here all night. So you're gonna do the best you can here. We're gonna get a little bit of color on these. Um, are they gonna be perfect? No, they're not gonna be perfect, but they'll be, they'll be pretty good. And once you get them spread out, just leave them alone. Then you can flip them. What'll happen is once they, they'll sear, they'll resist, they'll suck up all the oil, and then once they're hot enough, they'll release their water. These mushrooms just have a lot of water. That'll come out, you'll see it bubble. You can start to see it over here a little bit bubbling. And then you can hit them up with salt and pepper. The whole process to do these, if your pan is hot enough, probably about anywhere from like six to eight minutes. See like that's beautiful brown right there. I'm just gonna stir them around, encourage them to release more of their water gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper, maybe just a touch. Smell amazing. All right, right, we're gonna pull these out and we're gonna do the next two batches. Tent them with foil off to the side and then we'll get them going. I am gonna do three batches here. So even with that large pan, these one and a half pounds of mushrooms are gonna take a while. All right, so all the water now has, has released from them. So I'm gonna quickly season them up. And you know, you could do this out of the pan too in your dish. Didn't take that long, maybe 15 to 20 minutes to do all three batches. All we're gonna have after one and a half pounds of mushrooms is just gonna be that much. I like cutting them a little bit wider because it's you know, not as much work to sear them all. The other thing is they're a little bit meatier. They, I kind of like the taste of them better. Try one. Mmm, so good. All right, we're gonna put the onion in. You turn the heat down in the pan to about medium low. So get it down to about a three out of 10. And your pan's gonna be dry, so you're gonna have to add a touch more olive oil. That's very typical with 
when you're cooking mushrooms. And we're gonna let these onions get soft and translucent. They're gonna pick up some of the color from the, rema- from the mushrooms in the pan. Those little, little brown bits, little flavor. No garlic. I've had get comments, people telling me, they're like, you hate garlic. Why do you hate garlic? I bet you I have used more garlic in my first 170 videos than anybody on YouTube. But for a dish like this, there's gonna be questions saying, where's the garlic? If you like garlic and you wanna add 10 cloves, now's the time to do it. Right after the onions cooked for about three or four minutes and they get soft, you wanna cook your onions ahead, add your garlic in, let it go for a few more minutes. I'm not gonna do that, but they're getting soft. It's gonna take about one more minute And then you can add some spice to this if you want. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot red pepper flakes, about a quarter teaspoon. Now we can add the tomato paste in here. I'm gonna put in three ounces of paste. It's not exactly three ounces, it might be two and a half. In fact, this is the tomato paste from the last video from the uh, vodka chicken parm. All right, we're gonna fry the paste in the oil for a couple minutes, maybe three, four, five minutes. That's gonna boost the flavor. It's gonna just, it's just gonna make things taste better. Now, if you, if you don't have enough oil in the pan here, you can put a little bit more. I like that $2 bottle from Amazon, but it leaks all the time. When you put any alcohol in your pan, keep your head away. You'll send your, you won't have eyebrows anymore. And it's really important to have eyebrows now in the year 2022. I'm learning that all the time now from, uh, from my daughter and my wife. Here's a cup of brandy. I'm gonna turn the heat to about medium high, get your head back and then put it in. So with your wooden spoon, you're gonna remove all of those brown bits. The major alcohol smell is gonna burn off and then we want the liquid to reduce by about half. It's gonna be very fast. It's gonna be minute and a half, two minutes. It's gonna go away really quickly. It's almost, it's almost there. Okay, lowering it down. Gonna go down to about medium to medium low. At this point, start boiling your pasta, your spaghetti, because the sauce is gonna be done in a few minutes. All right, so here's my heavy cream. I'm gonna put in one and a quarter cups. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer. My pasta water is boiling, so let's get it in. Two tablespoons of kosher salt per gallon of water. I just, I say it repeatedly. That's it, that's the ratio. That's all you have to remember. Give it a start for like the first 30 seconds to a minute once it starts getting soft, just so it doesn't stick at all. I don't put any oil in the water, I never do that. It, the way I wrote this recipe, the pasta water was first. It doesn't matter. I'm putting some of it in here now, okay? About a cup's worth. Uh, the exact amount doesn't really matter because we're gonna use more of it when we get our pasta in to thin. Now this sauce right here is pretty good. It already thickened for a while, as you can see. Now I'm gonna let it bubble on about a four out of 10. Let's taste this and let's season it with salt and pepper if we need to. That's a good thickness already right there. Oh, that's so good. The brandy, delicious. I'm gonna put in about three quarter teaspoon of salt. Even though I have the hot red pepper, I'm gonna put some black pepper in here. I like the black, I always like black pepper in cream sauces. And I know this is my high-end pepper shaker. A lot of you guys have been commenting on that too. Okay, so at this point now, we got the thickness we want. We can lower this to like a two out of 10, or you could even just turn it off. Cook the pasta to one minute less than al dente. Give it a little taste. It's about one minute less than al dente. You could pull it fairly wet because I already know, making this, that it's gonna need a little bit of liquid in there. Get my stove out of the way. Let's toss this all together. Let's get the mushrooms in too. You can put those mushrooms in a minute earlier. It doesn't matter. All right, we're gonna cook this over about medium heat. I was on two because I didn't want my sauce to reduce anymore. Now I'm gonna let it cook. I'm gonna let it really grab the pasta. Okay. Got the tongs now, which is the better tool for this instead of the spoon. The house smells so good right now. We did a cherry pepper spread delicious. My wife was in the video with me. That one's going to be on Patreon, which is going to be tomorrow for you guys, for the Patreon people. All right. That looks, that looks phenomenal. Give it a taste. Make sure that your pasta is al dente because it was like about a little bit less than it. That's good. I'm going to turn that off. Let's get this off the heat and then we're going to 
put our cheese and our parsley in. Got the taste tester. What's up, buddy? What's up? You want some cheese on it? Sure. We're instituting a new rule right now. We're gonna call it James's. So you get zero to 10 James's. What, James, do you like this new rule? Yeah. Okay. It's up on the screen and I'll read the food. I'm not sure if we're gonna have it for this video. <laughs> I'm gonna steal one of those King, King trumpets. Zero to 10, how many James's does this get? Be honest, we gotta be honest here. We don't want all, t we don't want tens. Yeah, we do not want all tens. Probably like a nine. A nine. I will take a nine. I love mushrooms. I do too. I do too. Special thanks to Patreon producers Chris Whalen, Steve Winitsky, Paul Walter Hauser, Elizabeth Shaw, Joe Hardage, John Andolino, Kenneth Parker, Matt Fisher, Richard C., Tom Bronca, Mike Tamburino, Matthew Amore, Richard P. Bornvanek, Matt Gramke, and Alex Eckleberry.